Hi everyone, welcome to Pharma Digest channel. In this video, we will learn about HbA1c. So we will learn about why this HbA1c level is important for humans. So watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe our channel Pharma Digest. Hemoglobin in the blood carries oxygen from the lungs or gills to the rest of the body. Hemoglobin is a protein that makes your red blood cell red colored. Glycated hemoglobin develops when hemoglobin joins with glucose in the blood and become glycated. HbA1c is known as glycated hemoglobin. This is something that is made when the glucose, sugar in your body sticks to your red blood cells. Your body can't use this sugar properly, so more of it sticks to your blood cells and builds up in your blood. Because red blood cells in the human body survive for 8 to 12 weeks before renew. Measuring glycated hemoglobin can be used to reflect average blood glucose level over that duration, providing a useful longer term work for blood glucose control. The amount of glucose that combines with this protein is directly proportional to the total amount of glucose that is in the body at that time. Blood sugar levels, a normal overnight fasting, no food for 8 hours. Blood sugar level is between 70 and 99 mg per deciliter. Normal blood sugar level 2 hours after eating is less than 140 mg per deciliter. An HP A1C of 5.6% or less is normal. Too much sugar in blood damages your blood vessels. This damage can lead to serious problems in parts of your body like your eyes and feet. HbA1c Fasting Glucose Plasma Oral Glucose Tolerance Test All these blood test levels for diagnosis of diabetes and pre-diabetes is essential. The levels are mentioned in this graph. Mm -hmm. 